Hi, let's look at an example of using similar triangles for some indirect measurement. In this scenario here that we see in this problem, we've got some perpendicular roads, and I know the distance from A to B and the distance from B to D. Okay, because in the in the scenario it says you leave your house and drive eight miles north and then seven point five miles east and then two miles north. So the distance from B to D is seven point five miles. And we're going to use the properties of similar triangles for some indirect measurement to find the length of segment CD. And really the only reason we're going to find CD is because we want to find AE. And finding CD will help us to find AE, and we'll see that in a second. So we see in this illustration here when, when we connect these points that we have similar triangles, okay, because vertical angles are congruent and then right angles are congruent. So the angle-angle similarity postulate says if two angles in one triangle are congruent to two in another, then the triangles must be similar. So what's the properties of similar triangles? Remember with similar triangles, the ratio of corresponding sides, like this side to this side, is equal to the ratio of the corresponding sides of, of the other sides, like you know this side to this side. Okay? So let's find the length of AE indirectly without measurement, you know, without measuring it directly like with a car and an odometer or something. So let's first start with finding CD. Okay? Uh, CD is uh, an unknown length. All right? And uh, let me change this to um, CD. Okay, so CD is an unknown length. It corresponds with BC, and we know neither of them. But I could represent CD as, you know, let's just say X, the some unknown length. So BC would be 7.5, since BD is 7.5, BC would be 7.5 minus whatever the distance of CD is. You could call that X, or you could just call it CD. Okay. So when we when we see that, then we have a, a, a pair of corresponding sides where we're um, able to express them with a, with a variable, with a like variable, like CD or X. And so, again, with similar triangles, the corresponding sides are proportional, so I can set up a ratio like the ratio of 2 to 8. It has to equal the ratio of, of CD to BC, and we represent that unknown length CD. Again, you could put an X there. So that's this unknown length, and then this unknown length would be 7.5 minus CD. That gives us a proportion where I can solve for CD, and again, this could be like an X variable. So I cross multiply, the cross products of proportions are equal, so I cross multiply. So I've got 8 times CD, which I have a D here, but that's a CD. You know, D is a variable as well. And then 2 times 7.5 minus CD. And I'm going in and out with Ds and CDs. Um, so with, look, now I'm going with D's. I didn't know I was doing that, but um, and so when we look at it, when, you know, when we cross multiply, we distribute, and we solve for D, we get 1.5. So the distance from C to D is 1.5 miles. I can use that to help me find AE because notice this is a right triangle. I've got this side length and this side length, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem: a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared to find CE, which is 2.5 miles. Now, I can also find AC using similarity, you know, the properties of similarity. And once I have AC, I can add AC to CE to get AE. So, let's first solve for AC. Okay, I've got a ratio of 8 to 2, or 2 to 8. That has to go to the ratio of, you know, these corresponding sides here. So that would be 2.5. We found that C was 2.5. I'm going small to large, so that's going to have to be small to large. So that's going to be 2.5 over what I'm calling CA. Again, that can be a variable like X. So AC is equal to 10 miles when I cross, multiply, and divide. So AE is going to be 2.5 plus 10, which is 12.5 miles. And that's an example of indirect measurement. And we could have found AC different ways, but that's just one way that you can do that. Alright, I hope that helps.